Greetings to everyone. This is Rally G and welcome back to our channel, the Billing Simulation Methods series. I would like to thank all our subscribers, all accredited Billing Simulation Method teachers all over the country, including all couples here and abroad who are watching this channel. Thank you so much. And for those who are new to the channel, please like and subscribe to our channel and click also the notification bell. Today we are in episode number 13. Before we start our discussion on episode number 13, no? let's have a quick review of episode number 12. Episode number 12 talks about menstruation. And according to doctors John and Evelyn Billings, menstruation will only commence if there is a successful ovulation. But how can you verify if there is an ovulation? According to doctors John and Evelyn Billings, the moment mucus starts to appear, mucus must develop from a sticky sensation, it will become wet, and it must end in a slippery sensation. The last day of slippery sensation is what we call the peak day. If there is a peak day, then absolutely there will be an ovulation. And then menstruation now will commence 11 to 16 days after the peak. In Filipino, malalaman nyo po na kayo ay merong ovulation. Malalaman nyo to kapag dumating ang mucus o yung tinatawag natin sipon o lusaw. Dapat po ang mucus ay mag-develop into a mula sa malagkit na pakiramdam, magiging basa at magiging madulas. Ang huling araw na madulas na mucus, ang tawag po natin doon ay peak day. Kapag ikaw ay merong peak day, meron kang ovulation. At dahil dito, darating ang regla labing isa hanggang labing anim pagkatapos ng peak day. Now, if mucus will not end in slippery, then there will be no peak, no ovulation, and no menstruation. What kind of bleeding will take place if mucus will not end in slippery? We call it withdrawal bleeding. Para po malaman natin ang withdrawal bleeding, please review episode number 5. And now we are ready to go to episode number 13. Episode number 13 is all about the basic infertile pattern or what we call BIP. BIP comes immediately after menstrual bleeding. So in Filipino, ang BIP po ay dumarating pagtapos po ng tinatawag nating regla. So in the slide rule, where is menstruation? Menstruation is the one in red. So immediately after mens, the next phase of the cycle is what we call the basic infertile pattern. That is BIP. According to doctors John and Evelyn Billings, there are two types of BIP. The first one, the one in color green, we call it the BIP of unchanging pattern of dry. And the one below, the one in yellow, is the BIP of unchanging pattern of discharge. But in episode number 13, we will not discuss BIP of unchanging pattern of discharge. We will discuss this if you will attend the basic teacher training course on the Billings Ovulation Method. Today, we will only focus on the BIP of unchanging pattern of dry. In Filipino, ito po yung mga tuyong panahon pagkatapos ng regla, na kung saan, after nyo pong magkaroon ng regla, kayo ay nagkakaroon ng tuyong panahon at wala kayong makikitang discharge sa inyong underwear. Ang tawag po sa mga tuyong panahon na ito, is BIP of unchanging pattern of dry. Nothing is seen, nothing is felt. During the days of BIP, the cervix is completely closed by the G-plug mucus, no? o tinatawag natin mucus plug. 
Look at the cervix. That is the cervix. And it is being closed by the mucus plug. Sarado ang cervix sa panahon na ikaw ay nasa BIP. And because of this one, the plug prevents the passage of sperm into cervix and it protects the body from infection. Kaya isang babae po ay hindi magbubuntis kung meron pong intercourse during the days of BIP sapagkat sarado po ang cervix. Sperm cannot enter. Sperm cells kept out in vagina quickly become incapable of fertilizing ovum and destroyed by the surrounding cells. So BIP is considered to be an infertile phase. During the days of BIP, the two ovaries are quiescent, tahimik, dahil wala namang developing egg, and nothing leaving the cervix, wala kang makikitang discharge, and the vulva feels totally dry. So where is BIP again? In our slide room. Ang BIP po ay dumarating immediately after menstruation. At ang tawag dito is an infertile period. Okay. Another important thing about the BIP is this one. The BIP is the one responsible for the length of the cycle. The reason behind you have a short cycle, a long cycle, and an average cycle, it is because of the length of the BIP. What is an average cycle? An average cycle means you have one menstrual period in a 35-day cycle. If you have two menstrual periods in a 35-day cycle, then that is a short cycle. But if your menstruation will commence beyond the 35 day, then it is considered to be a long cycle. So the one that you're looking right now is an average cycle, one menstrual period in a 35 day cycle. If the BIP would be long, not two weeks and beyond, then you, it will result now into a long cycle. No? Kung ang iyong BIP ay humaba, no? two weeks and beyond, then maaari kang magkaroon ng regla beyond the 35 day, resulting now into a long cycle. Ang cycle then can be short. A short cycle means BIP would be very short or the BIP completely disappear. Kapag ikaw ay walang BIP o kakaunti lamang ang BIP mo, then it is a short cycle. Again, and what is a short cycle? Short cycle, you have two menstrual period in a 35-day cycle. Dalawang beses kang niregla, no? Uh, in a 35-day, okay? That is a short cycle, which is a result of what? No BIP or very limited number of BIP days. So this is very important. The length of the cycle is determined by the basic infertile pattern. This is the symbol for the BIP. You may use a color green or a vertical line. The vertical line and the color green means BIP of unchanging pattern of dry. Ibig sabihin, walang nakikitang discharge at ang pakiramdam ay tuyo. That is the meaning of the vertical line. At kung meron kang pangkulay, you may use color green. No? Take note that during the days of BIP, look at the diagram. The cervix is completely closed by the mucus plug. Now, for those couples who would like to postpone pregnancy, this is the rule. Para sa mga mag-asawang, ayaw munang magkaroon ng panibagong anak at gusto mag-postpone, they need to apply the early day rule 2 or EDR2. EDR2 says, alternate evenings are available for intercourse when these days have been recognized as infertile. 
Meaning, intercourse can only happen at night, no? You need to be dry from morning until evening. From morning upon rising from the bed, you must be dry until evening as you go back again to bed. The dry days must be maintained throughout the day until evening. And then you can now apply this rule, alternate evenings during the days of VIP. Why alternate evenings? What is the reason? Seminal fluid on the following day, you know, after intercourse would obscure the mucus. Okay, it is important to allow time for the seminal fluid to disappear and to confirm the VIP is still present by avoiding intercourse on consecutive evenings. So it should be alternate. So where are the days of VIP here? The days of VIP starts from dry spotting, no? Because VIP is the first dry after men's. So even though there are still spots of blood, but if the sensation is already dry, that is the beginning of the VIP until the last blue arrow pointing downward. No? These are the days of the VIP. Okay, now how to apply the rules? No? The EDR2. This is how you apply the EDR2 for postponing pregnancy. Of course, during days one to four, that will be menstruation, we apply EDR1, avoid intercourse during the days of menstruation. On the first day of dry, day five, day five must be dry upon rising from the bed until evening before going back to bed. So you need to be dry, no? Ikaw ay dapat tuyo mula umaga hanggang gabi. If you are dry, no, the entire day until evening, then you can now apply the EDR2. Intercourse is available at night for day five. No? Day five, the symbol of the intercourse is the capital letter I. If there is an intercourse in day five at night, the following day, day six, when you rise from the bed, no, by gravity, the seminal fluid now will be dislodged and you will be confused. Ikaw a meron wet sensation. Is this a discharged mucus or seminal fluid? Because the sensation is wet, you place the symbol circle, wet seminal fluid. Day six, you need to abstain and check what will happen on day seven. If day seven, you will be dry upon rising from the bed and the dry continues until evening before going back to bed, you can apply again the EDR2, alternate evenings. Intercourse now is available on day seven at night. The following day, upon rising from the bed, day eight, again, the sensation will be wet due to seminal fluid, or it might obscure the presence of the mucus. Symbol now would be circle. Day eight, the couple now must abstain from any genital contact. Wait for the following day, day nine. If you are dry from morning until evening, then you can resume EDR2. Intercourse will be available at night for day nine. And then on day 10, upon rising from the bed, again, you will see the seminal fluid and maybe mucus will be present. No, it obscure the presence of the mucus. The sensation is wet. So you make day 10 circle. The couple again abstain. And the couple will wait what will happen on day 11. This is how you apply alternate evenings during the days of VIP, most especially for those couples who would like to postpone pregnancy. Okay, so, so thank you so much for listening on this particular episode. Thank you to all our subscribers to all accredited billings ovulation method teachers in the Philippines, 
and to all couples who are watching this channel. For those who are new to this channel, please like and subscribe to our channel and click our notification bell.